Hey guys, Hermit here from Photo Insomnia, and uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about Lightroom Classic CC and where the hell are the profiles. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you jump online and subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I'll be uploading two videos a week, so uh, make sure you keep in keep up to date and you get notified when I have new up videos on my channel. So let's get into the video. So in the very latest version of Lightroom Classic CC, Adobe has done a few um, major changes to the interface. They have added creative profiles. Um, they've also relocated the profiles from the calibration panel up toward the um, basic panel. And I look at this image here, which was shot on a Fujifilm X-T2. Uh, generally, I have, under the process version, I have a profile calibration where I can choose a vivid color profile or a soft profile. Uh, similarly, with a Canon image, um, this is taken with a Canon 80D. Um, you also have the profiles like camera landscape, camera faithful, uh, camera portrait and so forth. Um, so these used to be here but they are gone. So as after I updated it, um, I didn't, I was a bit shocked. I didn't find these profiles here. Um, I thought they may be in effects. Maybe I was delusional but they weren't in the effects either. They originally in the calibration panel but they are not there anymore. Where Adobe has moved them is up here in the basic panel where you have a profile camera landscape. So this allows you to choose various different profiles but what you find here will be just some standard profiles that are listed. To access all of the other profiles you have to click on this little browser window or click browse here from this menu. So click browse and what is cool about this though is the fact that now you have previews of those different profiles. That was never the case. You would just choose the profile name and then you wait for this preview to refresh before you can see what result it gives you. Here it kind of gives you a feel for it and as you see as you hover over the preview on the left changes as well and it happens pretty instantly so I'm very happy with the speed at which it renders. Now these profiles that are available, you can switch into different modes. So you grid, the large gives you a larger preview, and the list gives you just the names. So if you go through the names and you can choose. Now what they have done is they've added a lot of artistic profiles. Again, these are specific formulations that Adobe has added to allow you um, to have a specific look on your image and a starting point. So for the um, Canon images, I have all of these Canon profiles. Typically I'd use this one or the portrait. So I'm gonna make this by clicking on this little star. I'm gonna make this as one of my favorites. So when you mark it as favorites, what happens is Adobe adds it up here to your favorites. I'm also gonna choose camera landscape. And now I have four of these, stand landscape and so on. So if I switch to the view grid, which it was before, I see these. Now the great thing is once you mark your um, choice of profiles favorite, they are easily accessible through the menu, which is fantastic. That's what I'm used to using. So if I want to try portrait color profile, I can see that. Similarly, for the Fujifilm camera, the X series, I have pre-selected some of the profiles that I use. So if I choose Felvia, which is a lot more vivid, you can see the difference before, after. If I choose classic chrome, it's a little bit less saturated image. Again, having those as uh, marked as your favorites means that you can easily and quickly switch between the two without having to go to the browse panel here. But the benefit of the browse panel is you get to see quick previews. So again, um, see what works for you. For me, I'm used to switching between the names as I'm familiar with it. So I will just swap between the ones that I want. All right, there you go. So that's a um, insight into where those profiles are in Lightroom and how you can use and benefit them with these new improvements introduced in this latest update. 
Uh, once again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well. So you get notified next time I upload the video. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.